Craig here. I just got my shear hog from Tormox, so I just thought I'd do a quick video on it. Alright? Okay, well it comes with the uh, the actual shear hog itself and the tool. It actually comes with the uh, screwdriver type uh, torque, uh, T15. So it's going to be a little easier to use than this, I think. So uh, this actually also fits the uh, Superfly insert too, so maybe I'll just keep this out and use them for both. Uh, I actually got an extra insert, which is what this is right here. Uh, not really much to show on this. It's already all ready to go right out of the box. So I'll show you what it uh, looks like. You've probably seen this in other videos, but... Alright. Okay, a quick check in G-Wizard for the feeds and speeds. I am using the Tormach 770. I will change this to 6061. I am using a carbide end mill. And the tool diameter is 0 0.750. And this will be one flute. The width of cut will be half an inch. And my depth of cut, I'm going to be starting at 10 thou, so 0 0.010. Okay, so basically G-Wizard is telling me that I need to be around 6,000 RPM, about 36 inches per minute. I'm keeping the width of cut at half an inch because most of the testing I'm doing now is for my pallet system. And so I'm basically going to be, it's kind of like, facing basically um, but I'm going to check uh, over here you can see it's the horsepower is very little 0 0.039 and so what I'm going to do I'm going to uh, change the depth of cuts to see uh, see how that changes 0 0.030 okay same RPM same feed rate uh, the horsepower went up a little bit, but not much, so try a little more, 0 0.050, okay, RPM is the same, feed rate is the same, just 0 0.2 horsepower, still uh, very little, let's try raising this, 0 0.070, again, RPM, feed the same, uh, now we're just a hair over a quarter horsepower, and I think the final cut that I'm going to be making is uh, 90 thou, so 0 0.090. So that's still uh, same RPM, same feed rate, just 0.35 horsepower. Well, I'm far from an expert on this, and if anybody knows to the contrary or can give me more information on this, the more I learn about uh, speeds and feeds, uh, the less it seems, and it's not as quite as complicated as I thought it would be. Basically, you know, the tool already has a, a manufacturer's uh, surface speed and a chip load, the size of chip that it likes to, uh, to take. So a lot of this information is already set based on uh, the size, the, the type and the size of the end mill. Like the RPM, throughout this whole adjustment, the RPM has stayed the same. Uh, also the feed rate has stayed the same. That seems to be mainly because of my width of cut here. If I take a lot less width of cut, the the, the inches per minute uh, tends to go up. Something to do with chip thinning, something I don't quite understand yet. I guess I will get into later, I believe. Uh, one other thing that I realize is, you know, you definitely don't want to use the wrong tool for the material. I've tried this before, uh, trying to use a uh, four flute carbide for aluminum. You know, if you're doing really light, thin cuts, you know, uh, you might get away with it. But beyond that, you know, you just don't want to do it. And the other issue that I ran into was the RPM based on the machine it has to do with the horsepower and the the VFD basically, which is another whole other topic that. I'm uh, probably going to make another video on, so, alright.
uh, that's actually pretty darn smooth. I can can hardly even really feel any bumps. This might be good enough for a uh, finish pass. Um, you know, once some once it's like if I try anodizing it or powder coating, I could tell better then. But it it might be good enough for a finish, depending upon you know what you're doing. Okay, still relatively smooth. You can feel a little bit on there, um, but uh, not much. Okay, well, 40,000 seemed to be a cakewalk for it, too. Um, finishes about the same as last. Okay, well at 50 thou you can definitely tell that it's starting to get a little rougher. You can feel some edges a little bit right through there. Okay, well that was really starting to cook on the removal right there. Um, surface finish is about the same as the last time, you know, you can feel little bits here and there.
Okay, well that made quick work of uh, facing 90 thou right there. I'd probably go even more, but it looks like I've run out of uh, stock here. Just don't want to run into my jaw. Uh, the surface finish, yeah, about the same as the last. Uh, little, tiny little, little bit here and there. Maybe a little worse than the last one. You can feel the ridges a little more. Out here actually isn't too bad. It's mainly like right there, right there, right there. For some reason on this side, uh, it's almost, it's really uh, smooth. So back there for some reason, it's not. I'm not sure why that is, but. All right, if you like this video, I appreciate the thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or anything you want to add to what I had just uh, covered on here, feel free to leave uh, any comments down below. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe, there's a subscribe button over here. And I usually have some other videos down below if you'd like to watch those.